I'm about to show you how I made my very own ExactMate cheat sheet and how it's allowed for me to write larger estimates much quicker. You probably have the same exact information inside of your computer right now to build your own. So let's take a look and find out how it's done. All right, so in order to protect our client's privacy, I didn't want to go into our actual ExactMate token, but this step is really simple. When you go in, you just hit select all, and that's going to highlight every single estimate that you have in there. From there, you're going to want to export it to PDF, and it's going to give you a long list probably on your computer of estimates in PDF format. Select them all, right-click them, and then combine them. Combine them all into one PDF. That's what you see right here. It's a 15,000 page estimate of our company's you know, history over the course of the last two years uh, of writing estimates for different carriers. This is great for a couple reasons. Not only does it give me perspective on how other people write, but it allows me to reference my own writing when it comes to the line items I may have you know, not seen in a while or need to know anything that kind of goes with it or is related to it. it. It provides a really great resource to never miss line items again. Now, there's one thing I will say is that PDFs are not the best documents to work with. So if you want to go an extra step further, I would actually export this into a text file. And uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like and just so show you how fast it can be. So from your PDF file, you simply just go in and you go to export a PDF. You do it in a few different ways. Excel, don't bother wasting your time. Uh, but you would go to other format, hit the down button, and you want to do it in TXT format. So what the output, and it does take a minute because there is a lot of line items here. So now I have my text file, and I am able to then search. Let's say I have a brain fart, and I forget what goes with oak floors or, or something. I'm going to control F, the find button, and I'm just going to type in oak. And the first thing that pops up down here, R&R &R for a subfloor, oak flooring, common, final cleaning. And you, as you can see, is I can see this is the stairs. I can see what else was written. And then I can go from there. It is like a very quick tool that I use all the time to just find lesser known items or ones that just are kind of slipping my mind. And I can control F, search something that is related to it, and find what I wrote for, find what somebody else in our company had wrote for, and just go like that. If I need to know, you know, even to this point of like, um, you know, dehumidifier, if I want to just like look up mitigation line items, not a, not a MIT guy, uh, if I need to write an estimate for a MIT for whatever reason, I can just go right here and that's going to give me a lot of the information I need to move forward um, because Justin's not around to write the mitigation for us. So I took it one step further and I took those 15,000 pages of line items and all that text data and formatted it into the way a chatbot could read it. And I taught a chatbot how to answer questions questions that you guys may have on different Xactimate line item codes. You can check it out at our website, www.therestorationadvisors.com, and let me know what you think. It's not going to replace estimate writing, but it's a cool resource to use if you ever need it. If you want to let me know how you feel about it, or if it's running into problems, or you think you have an idea similar, email me, matt at therestorationadvisors.com. Looking forward to it.